Glyphosate poisoning. Glyphosate is a herbicide. Glyphosate is a widely used non-selective herbicide, commonly found in products like Roundup. It is applied to plant leaves, effectively controlling broadleaf weeds and grasses. Glyphosate prevents plants from creating proteins essential for growth by disrupting the shikimic acid pathway. Routes of exposure. Exposure to glyphosate can occur through ingestion, inhalation, or skin contact. Accidental or intentional ingestion is a common route, as is inhalation of spray mist during application. Skin contact with the herbicide, particularly if the product is concentrated or contains other ingredients, can also lead to poisoning. Role of surfactants in toxicity. Glyphosate formulations often include surfactants, which increase its absorption by plants. While pure glyphosate has low toxicity, surfactants contribute significantly to the overall toxicity of these products. Mechanism of action. The exact mechanism of glyphosate toxicity remains poorly understood. Surfactants likely disrupt cellular membranes and interfere with mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation. Clinical presentation. Symptoms of glyphosate poisoning vary depending on the route and amount of exposure. Mild cases may present with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. More severe poisoning can lead to respiratory distress, low blood pressure, metabolic acidosis, kidney failure, and liver injury. Diagnosis. A detailed history of exposure and a thorough physical examination are crucial in diagnosing glyphosate poisoning. While laboratory tests help assess the severity and monitor organ function, no specific test confirms glyphosate poisoning. Management. Treatment for glyphosate poisoning focuses on supportive care. Initial steps involve decontamination, airway management, and fluid resuscitation. Specific treatments like anti-nausea medications, sodium bicarbonate, or dialysis may be necessary depending on the symptoms. Antidotes. Currently, no specific antidote exists for glyphosate poisoning. Management revolves around addressing the presenting symptoms and supporting affected organ systems. Long-term effects and cancer risk. The link between long-term glyphosate exposure and cancer, particularly non-Hodgkin lymphoma, remains a subject of ongoing research and debate. While some studies suggest a potential association, a definitive causal relationship has not been established. Prevention and reporting. Preventing glyphosate poisoning requires public education about the safe handling and storage of glyphosate-containing products. Emphasize the importance of following label instructions, wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, and storing products safely. All suspected cases should be reported to the local poison control center to monitor trends and aid prevention efforts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.